drone technology is playing a major role in transforming so many sectors. And one of these sectors is the energy, and more specifically is the oil and gas. Today, I'd like to t talk about shaping the strategic future of industrial drone or UAVs innovation. As you know, all the drone technology or the commercial UAS is playing a major transformation and it is truly revolutionizing the different sectors from construction to logistic, from energy to agriculture, from delivery to aerial mapping. Optimizing resources, minimizing the time required to conduct inspection, to do aerial mapping, or to deliver spare parts. So cost saving, time reduction, as well as enhancing the health, the safety, and the environment. There's no need to send people to high elevated area. There is no need to send people to a confined space where you have a very hazardous gases and very dangerous situation. You will have a digital replica of your asset, which will help you to have evaluation over time and see the, the condition and the integrity of your assets. No doubt, drone is playing a major role in promoting Vision 2030. It is fully aligned with our Vision 2030 in driving economic opportunities. It creates new job opportunities for our young Saudis. The four key critical applications when it comes to the adoption of drone and the benefits and the value of the drone comes from four major segments. The first one is the inspection and maintenance, especially when it comes to elevated structure, difficult to access areas and confined spaces. This technology has resulted in reduction of the inspection cost by 40 to 50 percent. The second application is the mapping and surveying. We are expanding in our uh, operation. We have a lot of projects in the onshore as well as the offshore. So this technology helped us to have a 2D and 3D map for our project. The third segment is the aerial map, oh, sorry, the environmental. Using drone equipped with advanced multi-gas sniffing and laser scanners helped us to detect uh, gas leaks as well as ensure the air quality. Last and not least is the safety and the security. No doubt, drone technology opened the new opportunities in optimizing uh, patrolling activities, the manual uh, vehicle-based uh, patrolling activity by using this kind of advanced digitalized drone technology. This is one of the examples that uh, we uh, reflecting or showing that we are using drone to inspect the fin fan and to see the condition of the different uh, mechanical equipment, to see the condition, to record, to look, and to compare over time. You can see it in visual as well as thermal. You can see if you have any anomaly or issue within your uh, operation. Another example is using drone to support our project construction. We uh, partner with uh, Aeronex to conduct uh, uh, a POC to monitor the progress of one of our uh, pipeline construction. And this helped us to assess and evaluate the progress, the condition, and to do some measurements and calculations whether it's for area or for the volume. The technology was providing huge benefit to our uh, project team. So in short, there is no doubt a drone is a potential business enabler. It already covered or supported several sectors. Uh, no doubt it, we realized the benefit and it has potential value to the end user or to the 
technology uh, adopter in terms of reducing the cost and improving the health, the safety and the uh, environmental uh, posture. One of the good things is that technology is evolving. We are seeing more payload, more capabilities, which will expand the spectrum and the opportunity of drone technology to cover other uh, services and other solutions. Uh, localizing and having an ecosystem is very crucial to have sustainable deployment and sustainable innovation. Uh, last and not least, it is very important to have this kind of collaboration between end user, technology developer, as well as regulator, in order to come up with the right framework that would push the envelope and create more opportunities in terms of adopting and deploying these technologies.